My name is Nicola Young. I am an event manager as well as an aqua fitness instructor and I live in Barataria. The Christmas recipe I'll be sharing with you today is a brown sugar honey jack glazed ham and a Christmas sorrel with a twist. So Christmas morning, we as a family sit and have breakfast in the yard. And my responsibility or my dish for the breakfast morning is ham and sorrel. And I decided at an earlier age, my late teens, to do my ham differently and to do the sorrel as well. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. For the rub today, I would be using brown sugar, crushed pineapple, cinnamon, the Jack Daniel Tennessee whiskey, and the light syrup. Simply because I prefer the menus to be as healthy as possible, so I'm using the light syrup. And of course, a boneless ham. I prefer boneless ham because it's, it cooks quicker. Um, these days, we don't have much time. We don't want to be in the kitchen all day slaving over ham. And this one has 20% less fat, again, on the healthier side. So while I am getting the ham all covered up with the clove, I will preheat the oven. Um, I like to bake my ham at about a 375 um, just so that and I will preheat there just so that um, it cooks evenly and quickly yeah so Christmas morning as a family we would usually have a tent erected tables chairs decorations and my siblings their significant others my nieces and nephews my parents and we have some friends that we would invite over for breakfast on Christmas morning. And everyone is, in, is responsible for a dish. So that's what Christmas is like at my home. So the ham is all cloved up and now I am going to wrap it in some aluminum foil and place it in a baking pan, but a rack first because I would prefer that the fats will drip off of the, the, um, the ham. So it's not saturated in as much fat as if you would have left it to soak in the bottom of the pan. So the oven is ready. It's at the desired temperature. I'm going to place the ham in there to bake. Nice, so my dish, next dish is sorrel. However, I like to add a couple of spices. So this is about a teaspoon or so of clove, some all-purpose spice, all spice, sorry, and some bay leaf. And then I place Right, so now I'm gonna remove the ham from the oven. It's been in there about an hour, so I'm gonna take it out. Now I'm going to apply the glaze over the entire. Can you see that? Nice. And then we will put him back in the oven. The sorrel has already been boiled, um, strained, and remember it was boiled with clove and spice and bay leaf. I added some water to that concentrated um, that concentrate. I'm going to now add some sugar, a dash of bitters, and uh, my favorite here, or my little spike of red rum. For those of the those of you that are faint at heart, you can just opt out of the rum, and you can just use your brown sugar and some bitters. Nice, so there you have it. Um, my favorite sorrel with a kick, my honey glazed ham, and my cousin Sherry Colleen makes an amazing cranberry bread, so I didn't have to bake. And this is how I would have my ham do. I don't usually like um, all of the condiments of chow chow and ketchup and that kind of thing on it. So this is how I would have my sandwich on Christmas morning. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I'm wishing you a merry, merry Christmas from my family to yours. I hope you try the recipe. Bye.